Well, with the snow on the ground and the cold here for a while, it's important to look for ways to save on your heating bill. Tonight, some easy money-saving tips. Call for action reporter Jen Strathman has them. Well, nobody's going very far tonight, so if you are sitting at home in your apartment or house, think beyond the water heater and the furnace. Think of the house together as an entire system. So one of the biggest reasons you're not getting air all the way back. Sandra Gregory spends around $250 a month on natural gas and, like most people, is looking to save money. Something that would really fix the problem. An energy audit can help find those problems. And we're sucking very heavy from the basement. By just looking at the units and doing a few tests, this energy auditor finds ways to save. This has a very, very restrictive filter. And that filter doesn't allow all of air going through. Air also gets lost in this building block duct system. See, the problem that I'm running into are these little holes. It's easy to get holes and bad seals when there are so many layers of ductwork. Lost air and lost heat are the result. That's why it's common for the room that's the farthest from the furnace to be the coolest. You're at 100 and... 34 CFM. So close the vent in the warm room. This forces more warm air into the cooler room. Carbon monoxide can also be a problem. So our flue gases, it's backdrafting as we speak. Meaning carbon monoxide is leaking into the home, not going up the chimney flue. You can't see carbon monoxide, but if you could, this model home shows the leakage or backdraft. To protect yourself, get a carbon monoxide detector for every level of your home. Back in Sandra's actual house, it took about 10 minutes for the hot water heater to draft properly. So by having this really long run, it tends not to draft very well. It can be fixed by shortening it or adding a fan to force the air up the long run. It's something Sandra didn't know was a problem. I am absolutely shocked because I thought with our new furnace, new water heater, that we were in pretty good shape. She found out what kind of shape her home is really in with an energy audit. I, I think this is a wonderful thing to do, and I think more people should do it. Now, an energy audit can cost you about $250 to $500, but it could save you thousands. There are also a few free things you can do in your house. When you go to bed at night, turn down that thermostat. That can save you lots. And also go look at your hot water heater. Turn it down to medium or low. You really don't need it on high. Now, if you have any other questions, make sure you hire an accredited person to come do work at your house.